over the over the weekend, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, the greatest dynasty in professional sports, one which will seal that greatness by not going to visit Donald Trump, despite the fact that there may be some personal relationships, but it doesn't matter. What's important is their political actions and their public actions. And um, despite <laughs> Thank a couple you, of despite a couple of missteps. Um, what's also important is you have good advisors. So maybe you are not so savvy about what's going on in the world. And maybe you buy a wrong hat and put it in your locker. Mistakes can be made. The important thing is that you listen to your smarter advisors. In this case, uh, Tom Brady's, um, wife, wife yep. Giselle, Giselle basically said, sure. don't do this. Don't be an idiot. And he said, yes, dear. Okay. And he now was I'm smart. Go kiss my kid on the lips. Well, that's fine too. <laughs> That's fine too. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I love Tom, but yeah. Yeah, it's but that's said like a guy who's not a parent. That's all I can tell you. Yep. That's Meanwhile, like a guy that will loving kiss parent, his child on the lips. Greatest uh, quarterback in the history of the game. Maybe one of the most accomplished athletes in any sport at any time. I'm sorry. I know that bums a lot of people out, but it's true. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Super Bowl took place this weekend, and. Um, here is Donald Trump uh, talking about how um, he's really upset about black people. Talking about the, the kneeling position you've taken and the controversy around it, do you think that the players who did kneel had a point? I mean, do, are you sensitive at all to players like Colin Kaepernick who, who point out that the majority of victims of police violence are black? Well, you know, I'm the one that uh, had passed judicial reform. And if you look at what I did, criminal judicial reform and what I've done, uh, President Obama tried, they all tried, everybody wanted to do it, and I got it done. And I've been, you know, really a lot of people in the NFL have been calling and thanking me for it. Really? Uh, they have been calling and thanking. You know that people have been trying to get that taken care of, and it's now signed into law and affects tremendous numbers of people and very good people. Uh, I think that when you want to protest, I think that's great, but I don't think you do it uh, at the sake of our flag, at the sake of our national anthem. Absolutely. But you are, do I understand you saying there, though, that, that you still are sensitive, though? I mean, you, you understand the motivation for the protest, though you don't well, like I the do. form of it. A lot of it is having to do with reform, from what I understand. Uh, whether it's criminal justice or whatever it may be, and they have different versions, and everybody seemed to have a different version of it. But a lot of it had to do with that, and I took care of that. I think that people have to at all times respect our flag and at all times respect our, na our, our national anthem and our country. And I think there are plenty of places and times you can protest, and you can do a lot, but you can't do that. That's Yeah, that's bad. Um, I took care of it. So... The bill that passed, the uh, criminal justice reform bill, um, affects uh, maybe several thousand of the 180 or 90,000 who are in uh, federal custody in a federal prison. That has nothing to do. Well, maybe it's like a fourth order thing to do with what uh, Colin Kaepernick was protesting. What Colin uh, Kaepernick was protesting was the complete disregard for uh, for black lives, particularly in the context of the way that uh, black people are policed uh, in this country. And to the extent that the Trump administration did anything on that front, it was to have his attorney general at the time, Jeff Sessions, tell every police force in the country uh, not only are we going to pull back on any uh, oversight that we're providing uh, problematic police departments currently, we're not going to engage in that in the future. So in other words, if you have discriminatory practices, if you have a problem on your force with overt or covert racism or de facto racism or whatever it is, if you have a record of being uh particularly uh, violent with black people, don't worry about it. We're not coming from you. You go to town. You, you do you, is what uh, Jeff Sessions told, told them. So uh, the idea that in any way Donald Trump uh, addressed this is a farce, that's the first point. Maybe he's deluded about that. Maybe he's not. I don't think he cares one way or another. 
And then the idea that um, you just the standing up during the, the singing of the national anthem at a football game is the sine qua non. Uh, that's the one thing that you can't not do. You can you do can, a lot. You could do a lot, apparently, according to Donald Trump. But that's the one thing you can't do, particularly if you're a black guy. Right. I mean, because we all know that was his attempt uh, to run in the uh, midterm elections. Let's make it cultural. Uh, I think they're going to shift and, and go back to abortion. But we'll see. All right. Uh